John chapter 10. I'm reading. I'm reading from verse 15. Oh, God will give you praise. From verse 15. And the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Another sheep I have which I not in this fold. Them also I will bring, and they shall be one fold. And I mean, and another sheep I, I, I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore, the Father loved me to and lay my life. I lay my life for the sheep. No man taking it from me because I laid down on my life. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it up and read verse 16. This commandment I have received from the Father. Where I'm going is this. It's verse 16. And other sheep I have on this fold, which are, uh, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice. They shall hear my voice. The sheep knows the voice of the master. What I want you to understand today is this. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want any good thing. It's ahead of you. It's not sleeping. It's there. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Bible says, God will raise up what a standard against them. He will not allow them to touch you. Because you are secured in the hands of the Lord God Almighty. It's your shepherd. He's leading you. And where is it leading to? It's leading you to the kingdom. I'm just trying to make a summary of all that I need to say in Psalm 1. Psalm 23, 1 to 6. It's a summary you are hearing of the old message. I've not really started analyzing it the way it should be. I'm still in verse 1. Trying to tell you the shepherd. The shepherd mind. Who stands there to help you at all times. The Lord is my shepherd. Because he provides both the physical and spiritual. I mean, because the Lord is my shepherd, every physical and spiritual lack is over. Is over, you shall lack nothing necessary. Mm -hmm. You shall lack nothing good. Mm -hmm. This is the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I believe the Lord wants me to end here mm -hmm. and to look into it again next Sunday. I don't know what the Lord has brought in your heart today, but the sheep listening to the voice of the shepherd, God will not allow you to go astray. As far as you are with him, you are within the fold. He leads you, he calls, you hear, you follow him. You, you go in the direction he's taking you, you will not allow you to go astray. If you are going astray as a Christian, if you are going astray, he brings you back because he loves you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let's pray. Oh, Father, I give you praise. I don't know the message the Lord has dropped in your heart today. I don't know. But I want you to talk to the living God. You have confessed the Lord is my shepherd. You have seen who the Lord is. And you have seen the type of shepherd he is. I've just given you a summary. Or will I say an introduction to Psalm 23? This is an introduction. By the grace of the next week, we are going to analyze it. How the Spirit of God leads us. We are going to analyze each of the verses. I want you to talk to God. Thank Him for being your Lord. Thank Him for being your shepherd. I want to thank Him. Thank Him, thank Him. Have an understanding of who the Lord is in your life. That's the understanding. That's, that's the introduction God is trying to make us understand. Who God is in your life. Who is God in your life? Who is God in your life? How do you understand God? If you have not given your life to Jesus, sorry, you cannot understand Him. You will always be afraid when you are not supposed to be afraid. If the Lord has gone ahead of you, is the Lord, if the Lord is before you, you have no cause, or only reason to think negative, as the case may be. No, sometimes the shepherd allows the sheep. So when the sheep decide to go astray, so that the, 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 the shepherd allows the sheep to, to, to learn lessons, but he draws it back again. Ask the Lord to grant you understanding of who he is. God shall unveil to you the more who he is. Who he is. Who he is. Thank you, Father, for your word. Lord, we appreciate you for your goodness. 
Thank you, Lord, for as many, O oh God, who have not accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Who are hearing this message today, Lord, I pray, God, that you speak to them, that they will surrender their lives unto you. So, the Lord, you will be the Lord of their life and the shepherd that will lead them to your kingdom. Lord, you will do this. And your name, and your name shall be praised and be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We really appreciate you. You save souls today. And for we, we have had your word, we have declared to ourselves, the Lord is my shepherd. I do not lack anything good. Anything is necessary for me. Thank you for everything, Lord. We really appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray.